Hey, Shad here with SpeedX, and today we're gonna uncrate the LS2 gate. LS2 is a true helmet manufacturer. They actually own their factories, and they make helmets for a lot of name brands that you've heard of uh, for the past handful of years. They've been making helmets under their own label. High quality, great value. That's kind of the name of the game. This is the gate. It is their entry level dirt helmet and it's pretty sweet looking for a helmet in this price range. It goes for a, a buck 50. Um, you're getting some stylish interior, stylish exterior. This is the stripes. This is the top seller, of course, Go America. And uh, yeah, pretty cool angles on this thing. Um, it is a polycarbonate helmet. That's a fancy word for plastic as opposed to a fiberglass composite or carbon fiber. Um, it is just under three pounds. They claim two and a half on our scale. It weighed a little closer to three, kind of two, eight kind of range, making it very lightweight. Anything sub three pounds is considered lightweight. It is DOT and ECE rated intermediate oval fit and three shell sizes all the way from extra small up to three extra large. They also make it in a youth uh, helmet and that goes for uh, 129. So uh, lots of sizes to fit just about anyone. This is best for uh, maybe a newer recreational rider, someone that doesn't ride a whole lot or is new to the sport, doesn't want to spend a ton of money, but wants something that looks cool and will fit them comfortably. Remember, shop at speedx.com, free exchanges and returns. Head over to speedx right now to shop for your next helmet. And if it doesn't fit, we'll take care of it for you and get you into the right size or just get your money back. Okay, let's jump in and see what LS2 has cooked up here. Let's flip this over. We'll show you. This is called a peak in the business. You may call it a visor, whatever you call it. It's important to keep the sun out of your eyes. This is adjustable. It's very long. See how long this is? This is longer than average. Take my word for it. So you're getting a lot of sun coverage with the gate um, and it is adjustable. Screws are a little chintzy. Um, I feel like they could have designed these a little bit better, but they are plastic, which is good. That means it will shear off in case of an accident instead of jamming your neck. And uh, that is what you got with sun protection. Ventilation, somewhat limited. Brow vents, intake up here. This blows right into the liner around the sides. Of course, on an off-road helmet, your number one entry point for air is around the goggle. Relatively big eye port, but not the biggest. Um, so don't go huge with goggles. If you're going to ride this, get something a little more uh, moderately sized go goggle wise. Uh, you've been warned intake in the, the mouth. This is always on. You cannot switch this on and off and we have exhaust on the back. All right. Um, this is a chin strap anchor. Usually you don't notice them on helmets. LS2 said, why don't we make it cool? A lot of times it's just a little rivet, but, uh, they've kind of blinged it out. It's the details, everyone. It's the details. Let's flip it over and see what's inside. We've got a very loud interior. Okay. Kind of cool looking. Double D ring closure. Nothing uh, out of the ordinary there. You got a nice flat ridge. This means it'll be compatible with any neck brace you might be running. And uh, kind of cool anodized red double D rings. Let's get this out of the way. Another unusual thing for helmet, uh, off-road helmet in this price range is that it's actually uh, com uh, compatible with uh, a Bluetooth system as speaker pockets. I'll show you that in a second. Removable washable interior with quick release pull tabs. Those are used in case of emergency. If EMS has to get the helmet off your head carefully without disturbing your neck. That's what that's for. And the gate has those. Let's get the cheek pads out of the way. Okay, so now I move these out of the way. You will see the EPS foam on this helmet is a light color. Uh, yeah, it's, so you can, it's kind of hard to see, but that is a speaker pocket. And I, so if you flip the helmet right around here, you will see where that microphone channel is. It's got a place for the arm and up in here, it's got a pocket for that microphone to reside in. Pretty cool. That makes it a good candidate. If you're looking for a side-by-side -side helmet and you want to run comms, a lot of people do when they're side-by-sides. The gate might be a good inexpensive way to go on that. If we pull this liner out of the way, this is just kind of a piece of mesh material they put in front of the EPS. I feel like this is probably just going to come out pretty fast if you are rem removing your liner and washing it. Uh, it's a multi-density EPS liner. That means it's going to perform well in all sorts of different impact scenarios, high energy, lower energy. You want that multi-density impact system. 
LS2 standing behind this with a five-year warranty, well above the industry standard. We like that. Head over to speedax.com to check out the gate. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you next time to find out what's in the crate.